hi guys welcome to my videos so guys today in this video we are going to see how to install sharepoint subscription edition uh, step by step so before i proceed further if you have not already subscribed to my channel please go and subscribe right now so guys there are some prerequisites for uh, sharepoint subscription server and you need to uh, make sure you meet that because uh, this is related to everything like dotnet version uh, operating system so in my case what i did like i first uh, upgraded to windows server 2022 and then i downloaded uh, the iso file from microsoft site and then uh, here is what i have mounted now i'm gonna walk you through so let me show it to you so the very first thing i have done is like i have uh, run the prerequisite installer yeah you can see that it is uh, running the prerequisite installer uh, and then um, it is doing the like um, products preparation tool it is configuring the web server role if you go further oh yeah so what are the things it has completed web server role configured successfully .NET version was already installed, Visual C++ already installed. Next I did and then I went to uh, run the setup. Now the setup is running. But it asked for a restart. So I had to do a restart of course. Now after restart I am back here and I run the setup once more. sometimes it takes a little while so be patient so you see it's uh, setting up uh, the necessary files i'll try to take you to some meaningful steps yeah here you have to enter the product key after you enter the product key and click on continue, it asks you to uh, terms condition, then uh, install uh, location, okay, location, and then you click on install now and it's going to install. SharePoint server subscription installation uh, edition is being installed as you can see. and this will also take time i'm just gonna move it for forward so that i don't waste your necessary time yeah finalizing installation this may take a few minutes but in my case it took more than few minutes honestly guys and i had already installed sql server 2022 before that okay so now the installation is complete next is to run the wizard again it asked for reboot so i went for it okay now what i did like uh, when i was running this wizard uh, because it's a single server farm so uh, and i don't have i did not have any domain uh, configured it was saying that uh, standalone account can be used on single server that kind of message so what i did in order to address this i ran the powershell command new sp configuration database and then i ran the wizard once more and that really helped You can see, yeah, yeah, it has picked up here after running the wizard. And see, the wizard is running five, nine, so many tasks. And you need to have a lot of patience. It runs all the way, 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 all the way. Wizard is done. So what happens after that? Center administration opens. So it's opening. And this is how it opened. So I'll be publishing more videos down the line. But for now, this is what we'll go through.